Hello there! Today it's time for the red larva from the funny cartoon larva. The polymer clay that I use is Fimo, but you can also use other kinds of polymer clay. It's all up to you. Sometimes the clay is a little bit hard, so I usually just warm it up with my hands, roll it out, and um, what we need today is actually orange and red for the body. We need a little bit of white and black. And that's about it. I want to remind you that you should cover the table because otherwise the clay might just stain it. And sometimes when you use Fimo and other polymer clays, you might feel that your hands get dirty in between the different colors. So, uh, go and wash them in between, otherwise you might just get pink instead of white, and so on. The first thing I do is make stripes, red and orange, red and orange, and so on. Roll and push against your surface. This way it stucks really good, and you can control the way the stripes look. The tools I use is just a knife, a rubber tip pen or a brush and a small razor blade. Now if you use a razor blade, please be careful. You can always put some tape on it so you don't cut yourself. Now, the last orange I want to make a little bit more yellow and brighter, so I mix a little bit more yellow in it and just push it against the body and squeeze and roll as usual. The top red is now the head and we are almost done with the body. Now it's time to shape it so it looks like larva. Don't squeeze too hard with your fingers, otherwise you might lose the shape and the stripes might look silly. Now the next thing is the mouth. I use my tool and I try to dig in and get a perfect mouth. You can use a tip of your pen or just a piece of wood or anything to do this. It's not really necessary to have the right tool. I always found it hard in the beginning to not push too hard on the body, uh, lose the shape and so on. So don't push too hard with your fingers. Concentrate on the mouth but still don't push too hard. When you're happy with the mouth, you still need to make a lip. I roll a little bit of red and then just make a small lip and attach it to the mouth. Use your fingers or use a tool. The next step is to make the eyes. So before you start with that, please go and wash your fingers, otherwise you get pink eyes. I roll the white, cut it into two pieces of white. This will be the eyes. I make two holes where the eyes should fit. You don't need to do this, but I think it's easier this way. You get a better face.
I attach one eye, but the second eye, I will make a red eyelid on it. So I roll a piece of red and then I attach it to the white. This makes the eyeball look much funnier. It's now time to make the eyebrows. Try to get the right shape and just put it in between the eyes. I cut the edges and then I use my tool to get it perfect and smooth right between the eyes of larva. It's important always when you use polymer clay that you actually follow the instructions how to bake it in the oven, otherwise you might ruin your oven or just ruin your figures. So remember that. Now we are almost done. I make a little piece of black to fit into the mouth. I use my tools to put it in and try to put it in the right place so it looks like the black inside of a mouth. And remember, don't squeeze too hard again. A little red tongue and just by using my needle I get it perfect it looks like a tongue I shape the lip and now it's time for the teeth roll a small piece of white and cut not all the way through I cut four pieces and then just by using my tool I stick it in and attach it to the upper lip. Now it's time to make the eyes. Two tiny dots of black. Try to make the larva look to the same side with both eyes, otherwise it might look a little bit silly. And then we have a little piece of red to put on top of the head, like hair. This is what the red larva has. So I make one piece a little bit longer push it on the top of the head and bend them and then I put one more just right between the two and stick it together. Now if you like this video please look at all the other ones I have on polymer clay and if you like it remember to subscribe. Good luck if you make your own and if you have ideas on what to do the next time, please let me know, I might do them. Thank you so much for watching.